This is 7-3 inequalities. This is an introduction to a new type of math symbol that you're going to see. It's going to replace the equal sign. So there are four symbols on the board, two of them you've seen before, and two of them should look somewhat foreign, although kind of familiar. The top symbol is the symbol for less than. You've seen this before, nothing new. The next symbol down is It's called less than or equal to. That, the difference between the two of them is if I was to tell you that <clears throat> x is less than 7, that means x can be any number less than 7 all the way up to 7, but it can't be 7. If I was to tell you that x is less than or equal to 7, that means x is 7 or anything less than it. That's the difference between the two of them. Now we're encompassing the possibility that the variable could equal the number that we're looking at. So the third symbol down is greater than. And the fourth symbol, the final symbol is greater than or equal to. So we have these four symbols that we're going to be working with at this point in time. So this is just an introduction, so we're going to get right into it and look at some things. And we have uh, three examples here. That, we're, that you're going to be required to turn you're going to be required to turn the English language into math symbols. Very important on page 341 in your book is a little table that tells you some key words as to which one of these symbols you're going to use. So the first one we're going to look at is more than 18,000 fans attended last night's hockey game. First, we're going to assign a variable. We'll call it H because it's a hockey game. And more than, I'll make that H a little bit better for you. More than 18,000. More than is a synonym for, is, is the same as greater than. So more than 18,000 fans attended last night's game. So a simple inequality right there. H is greater than 18,000. The second example, a number increased by 14 is at least 25. A number increased by 14 and plus 14, and then we have the answer, which is 25. Now we need the symbol that goes in between them. It used to be the equal sign. Now it's going to be something different. We've got four other choices. So is at least 25. We're actually going to use greater than or equal to, is at least 25, meaning it's 25 or greater. So that's what that means. The last example, 5 times some number is less than 65. 5 times some number would be 5n. And then we have the 65 is the answer. Is less than 65, so that was pretty straightforward, so we will use the less than symbol. So this is a portion of what you're going to have to do where you take the English language and turn it into some math symbols. And that's all you have to do. There's no solving or, or anything like that involved. The next type of problem you're going to run into is a true or false problem. You're going to be given an equation. For example, x minus 18 is greater than 4 if x is 12. Is this going to be true or false? You're simply going to substitute the 12 in for x, solve it. It's like checking the problem after you solve it. 18 minus 12 is greater than 4. In reality, what you're saying by substituting in the 12 for x is, I hope this math is greater than this math, from way back when you had to check your equations. So 18 minus 12 is 6, greater than 4. Is 6 greater than 4? Yes, I hope this math is greater than this math. So this example is true. In the other one, we have x over 3. x divided by 3 is greater than or equal to the number 2. If x is 9, we want to see if that works. So we substitute in 9 over 3, greater than or equal to 2. Again, I hope the math on the left-hand side equals the math on the right-hand side. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Is 3 greater than or equal to 2? 3 is greater than 2, so that works. So we're all set. That is also true. All right, so you are going to check true and false for a 
group of problems, and this is what your work should look like. Now we're going to learn how to graph an inequality. This is the most important part of this lesson. And on the bottom of the board, on the bottom of the slide, you'll see the words open circle is used for greater than or less than, and a closed circle is used for greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And what that means, it's easy to see when we graph it. So we're going to graph A is greater than 4. So we'll put five dots, five marks on the, on the lumber line. The middle number will be the one we're using, and we'll fill in the rest, four, five, six, three, and two. A is greater than four. So I'm going to put a circle on the space that represents four. If A is four, then we can actually have four be part of our line. But since A can't be four, we're going to leave the circle open, and we're going to put in a nice, big, fat, heavy line and a number line and color it in like this. So that right there represents A is greater than 4. The open circle means we can get really, really close to the number 4 without actually being the number 4. Now, so the, the next example, T is greater than or equal to 9, is an example of a closed circle. 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will put the circle in, and since it's greater than, we will color in a big old fat line, like such. Now, since t is greater than 9, which is exactly what's drawn on the board, but it can also be 9. So in this case, we're actually going to color in the circle, greater than or equal to, because the number can actually be, the variable t can actually be 9 in this case. So it's very important that for just greater thans and less thans, that you know that the circle stays open and not filled in. And the circle is filled in when it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Very important. It is the most important portion of today's lesson. So we will do the last example. We'll put the 5 in the middle. And so we will put our circle on 5. And since D is less than or equal to 5, we will put in our big fat line and big arrow. And since it can be equal to, we will, again, color it in. Something you should notice about graphing inequalities, and sometimes I'm hesitant to tell students this, and, and we talk about these things in class, but you should notice that the symbol, the greater than or the less than, is also the direction of the arrow, of the arrowhead when you graph it. So that's unique. And it only works if the variable is on the left-hand side. So we can talk about that in class when we see it. All right. Next type of example you're going to see is actually taking an inequality from a graph and writing it out in standard form. So we're going to need a variable. We will use the variable n. And the number that we're looking at in the first example is 13. So we'll put the 13. And we are going to be greater than 13 because we're getting larger than 13, so we put in the greater than. Now we need to decide, is it greater than or equal to, or just greater than. Going back to the previous board for a second, it's an open circle, so it's a greater than or less than, so we're, only gonna, we're not going to do anything, so that's the correct answer. It stays greater than. The next example, we have n, negative 3. We're going to the left, and the arrow shows that way, so it's going to be less than. However, the circle is colored in, so it's going to be less than or equal to negative 3. So that's, that's what we're looking at in that case. So very important to recognize the difference between the open circle and the closed circle, the filled-in circle and the empty circle. So that's the most important portion of today's lesson. And finally on this board is your homework, page 343 and 344. Problems 14 through 44, the evens.